Welcome back, everyone, to our third, yes, I said our third segment of our Yes Business, our Young Entrepreneur Spotlight. Um, I'm so excited because, you know, this thing has just taken a, a, a life of its own and we're able to just do more and more and talk to more and more great entrepreneurs. Um, as you can see today uh, on the screen with me, we have my brother. I'm going to give him a chance to introduce himself real quick. Hello, my name is Sperlin Cook and my business is Cook's Cookies, where we do cookies, cakes. Uh, I'm learning as I go. The more I learn, the more I know, the more I'll be doing. Yeah, man. Look, he's been a little humble um, right now because as we get into this conversation, you're going to see that um, my brother, he, 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 he does this. He does this. You know, <laughs> you see we have a nice little spread on the table um, just to showcase his, his, his logo, his, um, his information. And we even got a little treat on the table today that we're going to cut into a little bit later in the segment. Um, but um, just like we have been doing um, all of our other segments, we're going to give um, Sperling a chance to, to just talk about his business, um, give us some background information on how he started the business, where his passion came from, um, and just give us some, just, just dive into what it is that he's doing and, um, and then go from there, okay? okay. That sound good to you? Sound good All right, man. let's do it, man. So, right. so, so take us away, man. Take us away. How did you start uh, Cook's Cookies? How did I start? Or where did it start? Where both? <laughs> both. How did it start? Where did it start? Give us all of that. Started long, 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 long time ago. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. No, so you know, we, you know, it, it, people know we we brothers and brother in law and everything yeah. like that. So yeah. my family we grew up in Alabama, come from a long line of cookers, great cooks, bakers, and all that good stuff. And um, I know like my mom used to make these cookies, she'd make these cookies all the time. Mm -hmm. I remember. And they were really good. And so I think it really, it started off as the Neiman Marcus cookies that everybody like online, very labor intensive, all that kind of good stuff. It's a lot of stuff in those cookies. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of ingredients, a lot of, you know, if you're not a baker, if you're not just like, if you say, hey, I want to make some cookies, this is not the cookie that you start with. There's a lot of stuff yeah. in there, very detailed. Yeah. But um, so I decided, you know, we had for, 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 for work. Um, it was like Thanksgiving or something, and I said, you know, I'll, I'll make the cookies, and I made the cookies, and everybody was like, man, these are great. Yeah. And, um, and so they kept asking me for them, like, when you gonna make them cookies? When you gonna mm -hmm. make them cookies? And mm -hmm. I was like, I, 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 you know, you know, maybe you know, next year, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah. And uh, but they kept asking me for them. Yeah. So when they kept asking, so they were like, um, I, I said, you know what? I know how to shut them up. Uh -huh. I said, you know what? I said, look, it's kind of labor intensive. I'll charge. I, I, I said, you can pay for them. Uh -huh. And then I'll make them for uh -huh, you. Uh -huh. And they were like, "So how much?" <laughs> and so I'm like, "Okay, okay." Yeah, uh -huh. And so once I, I mean, and it just kind of started there, like at work. I mean, really about seven, eight years ago. No, longer than that. It's been about ten years that I made those, and like, you know, I got into, I got got to one point where like I was doing it. It was so many orders, I was doing them every other week because I couldn't do it every week. It was just too much. Yeah. And so, I mean, you're talking about, like, I would take I would take an order. I'd go around my job, hit up a couple places, and it'd be like, okay, so now I got 500 cookies I got to make. <laughs> and it's just me in an apartment, you know, and then, you know, like, when Sarah came along, she would help. Uh-huh. Sarah's his wife. Yeah, my, yeah Sarah's yeah. my wife. Uh -huh. And so she would help me out, you know, and, you know, because, I mean, that's, because the thing with baking, like with cookies, you got to bake. Then they gotta cool off, and then once they cool off, then you can package them. It's a process. Yeah, I'm talking about like the, the living room will be full of cookies, cookies everywhere, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. And so I've been doing that. <clears throat> once we had kids, it slowed down because Sarah wasn't able to help me. You're talking three to 500 cookies every other week. It was a lot. Um, and But during that time where we stopped when we had the kids, People never stopped asking me for them. They were still asking people me. People were like, man, I remember, those, I remember those, those cookies. Like, do you make a cheesecake? Like, yeah. I want that cheesecake. And so, yeah. so here lately, uh, I would say like in the last year, I've like revved it back up. Um, got my logo, got my business name, everything. Uh -huh. And I've been doing it. I'm starting to do some pop-ups and some things like that. So, I mean, my, I mean, my love for food, for baking, it just kind of, it just, I mean, it came, it came from that, from family, just took off and. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. I heard you say something in, 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 in that whole um, just history of what it is that you've been doing as far as when you stopped it and then you still had people that were asking you as a baker, as like a, a, a cook, as a chef, like, like how does that make you feel like to, to, to be like, man, okay, they still want, is it, is it something where you take it and you say, okay, this, this is motivation to move forward or is it something <laughs> where it's like, man, this is like, oh, like how, how do you? No, it was, it was a mix of both. I mean, I mean, as, is, is anyone who you're, you're making something mm -hmm. and people are asking you for it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because one, that was one thing I struggled with at the beginning. I was like, well, people know me, so they're just saying, 
oh, I want to, they're just being nice. Uh -huh. They're just yeah. being nice to me. You know, my family's being nice and they're, you know, you know. Which we weren't. I can go ahead and let you know <laughs> right now. That totally was not the case, but I, I, yeah. I you know. And so when people kept asking, I was like, for real? Like, really? Yeah. Now, some of it did kick in because, you know, like with anything that you do, if you take time away from it, mm -hmm. something that used to come so naturally to you, you know, just to get in that kitchen and start working. And yeah. Now it's like, okay, that's okay. I, I got to do this for my butt. I, I was like, do I, do I have this? And putting everything out, getting everything structured because you have to get yourself back into that rhythm of mm -hmm. doing it. Of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, just because it, it, it's, it's a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. And so, but here, but hearing that, I mean, like, of course, I mean, it's just like, I know my chest couldn't get big enough. Yeah, you I was like, yeah. you know, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, they, you know, the people are really wanting my wanting my stuff, stuff you know. Yeah. yeah. And so, and that's something I struggle with a lot because, uh, and, and I, I've had people they, they were like, because I was talking to one of, one, of, one of the girls when she would order all the time, uh -huh. and I, I was, and she just said how good they were, how good they were. I was like, look, I was like, we cool, well, you ain't got to, you yeah, know. Yeah. And she was <laughs> like, she was like, you think I'm gonna be giving you money? <laughs> she's like, if it wasn't good, yeah. she's like, I could be going buying something else. She was like, this is good stuff. So yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So when when it comes to transitioning that passion of what it was that you were doing into actual business, can you talk about that process a little bit? So I know you know you talk about how you do things and, and, and like I said where it comes from, but transitioning that from a passion of just being in your kitchen, you know, cooking for this person that may request something every every now and then to mm -hmm. saying, Okay, I want to start my own business, this is what I want to do. Like what was that thought process like and what was that, you know, that yeah. that process what was that like? It was tough. I, I like most people. I went to YouTube University. <laughs> yeah. I started looking at videos. I looking at people. Okay, you know how to start my own cookie business. How to do this. And one thing that I have learned and learning. I mean, you have you have to know your numbers. Okay, your numbers are very very important because if you just say, oh, I think you know, if you're just guessing at what is gonna, you know, if you're guessing what you're gonna charge a person for a cookie, mm -hmm. you need to. I had to get to the point to where I knew it cost me. Mm -hmm. 77 cents per cookie to make um i talked to actually um talked to uh there's some people at the farmer's market they have their own cookie thing mm -hmm. and i was inspired by by her um because she was able to quit her job and she does this full time mm -hmm. able to retire her husband wow. and just do cookies okay and so i'm talking to her and like i noticed like in a lot of her cookies like she doesn't have any uh nuts mm -hmm. and i was like you don't have anything with nuts she's like yeah she's like you just cost too much she's like i wouldn't make i wouldn't make enough money and so I had to figure out, okay, what does it cost for every cookie? And then you have to not be afraid to charge for what you do because, because right. here's, I mean, a cookie, you can go to Walmart right now and buy a, and buy 20 soft batch baked cookies or whatever, $3. Uh -huh. Whereas I'm saying, hey, look, okay, you know, six cookies, it's going to cost you five. Mm -hmm. And you know, so someone you know may say, "Well, what is it?" You know, I'm not, I'm not charging you for what you, you know, I'm not, I'm not charge, I don't, I don't charge for what you think you should pay. I'm charging for the labor that I'm putting into it mm -hmm. and what it takes for me to make these cookies. Because and then too, the what are you using? Am I using you know off-brand butter? Mm -hmm. Am I using imitation vanilla? That's right, yeah. Or am I using Kerrygold butter? There you go. Am I using you know? Uh, <laughs> Top of the line, you know, uh, Mexican yeah. uh, vanilla. Yeah, yeah. So those things you have to pay for those because I mean, and that's what my wife was saying. You know, she's like, okay, she's like, if you're doing this, like, you got to make some money because otherwise, it's just you sit on the Shark Tank all the time. They'll tell them you don't have a business, you have a hobby. You have a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't want to have a hobby. That's right. Yeah. And so you know, it's like you have to charge for what you are doing. So that's something that I, that, I, that I had to learn. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's not just you know, oh, you know, the old church mother who she likes making sweet potato pies, so yeah, she'll make yeah. two or three pies and she will not charge five dollars. You know, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. you, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. can't do that. That, that. That's a hobby. You run yourself. You will get tired, worn out, and do it that way. Yeah, yeah. We, do you think um, that's key? That that's that's key that you said that because you know, going back through the segments and even thinking to the last segment, that's one of the things that the entrepreneur said too that you cannot be afraid. You have to be confident and what it is that you're doing and the, the, the service that you're providing for people, right? Like you said, if I'm taking the, the, the time to make sure I'm putting quality ingredients into what it is that I'm serving people, like I have to make, I, I have to, it has to balance out. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's key to, to entrepreneurs out there um, and especially the, the ones that are coming up and kind of looking at this and kind of trying to see, you know, some steps and some key things that, that you can do. You gotta be confident now. You also have to do your, 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 your due diligence and your research. And like he said, talking to individuals, 
figuring out what it is that they're doing, people that are already successful and what it is that you're trying to do. Um, you know, talking to those people and doing that work to try to make sure that you, you put yourself in line with what it is that you're doing. So I think that's 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 big, man. That's yeah, big. I, I definitely always I'm looking at people who are doing like okay, who are where I want who are where I want to be, mm -hmm. and so I'm talking to them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you as many questions as I can mm -hmm. until you either tell my little leave me alone, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you got to pay for this information, and that and that's fine too. But I mean, it's just like I mean, there there is a difference. You know what I'm saying? You can. You have choices every day. You can go and buy your jeans from Walmart, mm -hmm. right. or you can go to Kohl's, or you can go to House of Dairy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, there's levels to everything. And so, if you're putting, if you're doing, you know, you're using the best ingredients, the freshest ingredients, and there's a quality to my baked goods that you're not going to get at. The, so, because I had somebody ask me that, is I can go, I can go buy, you know. I said, you, you absolutely can. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I said, I can tell you the six or seven ingredients in mine. I said, you got a a list of of um <laughs> pesticides and all kinds of stuff in here just to keep the shelf stable right. you know so that, there's a difference between me making that so yeah, yeah you have to be you definitely have to be confident in what, yeah. in what you bring in that's awesome man. that's awesome now going from like you said kind of the, a part of the process of figuring out what you have to do you know figuring out those ingredients figuring out your numbers and different things of that nature what were some other just uh just just general key steps that you know i mean I, i'm even looking at your logo in your car like what was that process like coming up with your logo <laughs> getting your cards um you know just some of those key steps that help you take your business to to, to closer to you know again yeah, that was another course i took on youtube university um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i just you know i just have have to research and look because i mean i don't know too many bakers i don't know too many people that i personally know who have a baking business mm -hmm. or making cookies like that mm -hmm. and so i went to youtube and i you know talking to people and so just from having those conversations if you just open up and have those conversations it's going to come mm -hmm. and so one of the things was like, okay i need a logo how do i get a logo i heard about this place called fiverr mm -hmm. website fiverr you can go to fiverr and you know it's anywhere from five dollars to you know 300 depending on what you want mm -hmm. and so i said i want something you know i kind of drew up a design this is what i want this is kind of what i wanted to look like then went out to social media and I was like, hey, which one do you guys like? Which one do you like most? Mm -hmm. And I let the people you know, see, yeah, yeah, you know what, what they thought was most, most appealing mm -hmm. um, to, to get that. Um, and But it's, I mean, it is a constant process because you can look, I mean, the name went from, it was for cookies sake. Mm -hmm. It was uh, something else I had. And then I thought, I said, I want Cook's cookies, but I want the, I want the, the C, you know, yeah, cook, yeah, cookie. I want the C look like an actual cookie that took a bite out of it. Yeah. That's, and so I'm I mean, on, so. I mean, you can see that, man, that's creative. You got, is that a glass of milk? Yeah. Come, come on, man. And you know, our, our, our logo or, or motto is, you know, treat yourself. And so I'm, so I'm on, I'm, I'm online with this guy who's, you know, over in India. <laughs> and so late at night, because, you know, our times are different and I, this is what I want, this is what I want to look at. He sent me a couple things. I'm like. Don't like that. Don't like that. And, you know, and work and worked it out. Um, but that's again, but that's just being online, mm -hmm. seeing people on YouTube. You know, how do I get this? How do I get this? How yeah. do I start this? Yeah. Yeah. But what I hear you say overall is you put the energy into it. You put the time into it. Like it was something that you wanted. It was something that you saw. You got that 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 motivation, that push to know that you could actually do it and it was attainable. And then you went and you took the, you put the time and the energy into figuring out what you had to figure out to do it. That's yeah. I mean, that's a that's 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 key for, for I think for for young entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs. Period. When you start, you have to put the time and the energy into what it is that you you're doing. And so, man, that's uh that's big. That's big. Man. That's big. So you went from there and doing your research and figuring things out. And what was the first thing that you actually saw? In, in this process where you were like, okay, I'm running a business, like this is real, like what was it any, like any certain thing, any one thing that finally made it reality for you to know that, okay, I'm, I'm running a business right now, come to me. I mean, you know, you gotta go and get your house inspected, they come over and they tell you what, you know, and you, they come and inspect your kitchen and all that kind of stuff to get you, your license, which they, I don't, they don't really do that anymore, but that's like in the beginning they were doing that. Then when you start putting the money into it, it's like, okay, because, for, for it's been my experience when you have a business I got cookies I got cakes and stuff like that mm -hmm. and I, I charge I forgot I charge a premium I can just be like hey man I want you to pay this much for this mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta taste it yeah you know what I'm saying yeah you know it's you know what I'm saying like is this you know like street hustlers you know what I'm saying yeah. they will give you a little bit yeah yeah they just get a little taste you get a little taste and then you start coming back. back for more yeah and so and that's and that's something that you know it's like it's hard because it's like okay 
I'm spending money on, on this stuff and, and really money, I'm spending more than I am bringing in. Because I got to, yeah, people can look online and see your videos and they can see your advertisement and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But they don't know what it tastes like. Yeah, yeah. It's just something. You know what I'm saying? So I got to be able to get it out there. I got to let them. And so it's like, I'm spending money on these things. Like, okay. So you got to have a conversation with yourself. Okay. Is this something I want to do? Like, am I going to, because I know to get it going and mm -hmm. then to get it going at the level that I want to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, how much money are you going to put into this? You know what I'm saying? It's, you know. Two things can't get can't get back: your time and your money. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna spend both yeah. doing this. You're gonna spend a lot of time, yeah. and you're gonna spend a lot of money. I mean, you know, two kids. You know, what I'm saying, you know, you try to work an eleven hour day and come home and tell your wife, "Hey, I know I've been gone since you know eight o'clock this morning. It's nine o'clock at night. Yeah. I'm gonna go make a cup of cookie." Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> man that's what you mean. know, what I'm saying. So it's yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah. What you know? That's when you're like, okay, I run. You know, I run a business and I have to treat it as such. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. hey. Hey, you said <laughs> you said something there when you said the two kids and the, and and the wife and then you know coming home. That's I think that's a good way to look at it and a good perspective to look at it because you know sometimes we as outsiders, you know, you look at okay, it was a certain amount of money that that person probably made. They said okay, I'm running a bit, you know, or it was you know this particular you know situation that happened. But to just break it all the way down to no. I realized it was a reality when I realized I was putting my time, my energy, and my money into this thing. Like this is what I, this is this is what I, I, I'm trying to be successful in. Mm -hmm. So I think, man, okay, all right. Yeah. I listen to those stories like um, what's his name, Famous Amos. Uh huh. Yeah. And you, Milton Hershey, all these people, you know, and it's like, now I'm not confessing this for myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. When you look at the time, these you know they went bankrupt and the, the money that they lost because they believed in a dream and they were just they were just chasing it, and it's like you know, am I at that level? Yeah. Am I am I willing to go bankrupt mm -hmm. to get this going? Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm not saying that you have to. Yeah. yeah you know, what I'm saying I'm yeah. saying that's God's will for everybody. Yeah. But when you read a lot of the successful people who are who are you know, people who are very successful what they do, they have often failed many many times, and so. I'm like, you know, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, you know, if I'm gonna have a, a, a bake, a bake, bake shop, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, a brick and mortar, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, what is it gonna take to get it to that level? Mm -hmm. So, what do you, you know, because on the, on this segment, not only do we want to make sure that we spotlight and put the word out there about our, our community businesses and our, our family, our friends, but we also want to let people know something key you just said, like, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of failing, it takes a little bit of you know, bumping your head against the wall to get to that level that you're trying to get to. So we want to make sure that we show the real to mm -hmm. our entrepreneurs and people to know that there are things that you are going to go through. Would you mind sharing, you know, any of those hurdles that you may have went through where you said, man, you know what, this right here, you know, any any trials or any, you know, um, um, downfalls or anything that you've had in this process as you've been, you know, building and trying to start your business, anything that you would mind sharing with us? Yeah, I mean, right now the, the biggest thing is, you know, like when I started this, I was single, no kids, mm -hmm. and so it was nothing for me to say, okay, on my day off, I'm gonna get up at five in the morning, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna bake cookies from, you know, I'm gonna bake from six, and I won't be done until about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> real bake right there, y'all. <laughs> cause, cause I'm, not, I'm not operating in a, you know, in a commercial kitchen. I don't have all the ovens, I don't have all that stuff, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, even, you know, like, so, so, so like right now, mm -hmm. getting back into it and like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, 10 toes down in this, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, uh, it's like, I ain't got no, you know, my wife's like, I ain't got no room in the, in the fridge. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, or else, you know, or you, um, you're looking in and it's like, okay, I have bought X amount of stuff, did this, like I did a pop-up a couple weeks ago uh -huh. and doing a pop-up, never done it before, trying to get ready. I'm like, I don't know how many people go be there. I don't know how many cookies I need, how many cakes I need. Trying to get ready and I'm doing, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I said, okay, I set the timer. This batch is going in, 30 minutes later, I wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I didn't like, I had about a hundred chocolate chip cookies I was gonna make. Oh. But I only had about forty that I could take because I burned that's some, that's and you just and you just seen that that money go yeah. <laughs> straight yeah. straight down yeah. the drink. Yeah. And so, so right now it's just the the time is like okay, I'm investing time in this. I have a family. I have kids. It's like 
am I doing is, is okay five ten years from now is going to be that I just spent time away from them just to play with a play with a hobby mm -hmm. or did it manifest into something that makes it so that daddy ain't got to go to work uh, yeah. you know things are taken care of so that's one of those that's 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 a battle yeah that's yeah. a battle because you know it's like I have a well-paying job I you know I have my wife she works she has the kids and so that's 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 one of the biggest struggles is having which I know you know yeah Having the kids, mm -hmm. and then already working a job where I'm gone for yeah. you know, 10, yeah. 12 hours, yeah. and then to come home after that, and still trying to, yeah. and yeah. Still yeah. Trying to do stuff because, because again, we're baking and then it's a science. Mm -hmm. It ain't just I'm gonna just throw some stuff and see. Now you know cooking that's one thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know you have greens. You know yeah. you know about you know them yeah. greens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> totally greens. Yeah. Put the foot all in them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you know with the baking is like, I got to do this, got to do this. So I got to pay attention. And if I'm tired and late, and I'm like I like this stuff. So yeah, so those yeah, that's things. that's yeah. Right now that's that's the biggest thing is just you know okay. making sure this is that this is worth the investment of time that I'm giving. Thank you, man. I thank you for um, for sharing that real we. Uh, I just I'm trying to stay focused. I keep looking down at the cake <laughs> that's wrapped up here. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go into the next part of this segment. But before we go into you know trying, um, I want you to give the backstory behind um, the wrapping and what we're actually doing, what we're testing out with the, with the cake. But before we do, could you please give the people your information? I know we have the cards out, but give them your information. How mm -hmm. they contact you? How they make orders? Um, um, talk to them about exactly what it is that you are offering because I know we've been talking about cookies but you do cakes too so mm -hmm. kind of wrap us up we're talking about what is it that you do and how do people can get, get in contact with you so you can you can reach me by text or call is 919-426-1507 so I take orders that way you can find me online on Instagram cooks cookies uh, just one word, Cooks, C-O-O-K-S, C-O-O-K-I-E-S. I spelled that right, right? Yeah, you did. You got it, man. Yep, yep, yep. You, um, um, YouTube, I just started a YouTube page. Um, that's Cooks Cookies also that I'm starting to, starting to do videos just this past week. Hired a, um, that's what I'm talking about, that money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hired a photographer um, hired, you know, to come out to and record because I got so tired of trying to bake and me by myself trying to record and it just wasn't giving me what I wanted yeah. and so you can find me on YouTube cooks cookies uh, Facebook Facebook if you look up my name Spro and cook or you know it's, it's on cooks cookies I post pretty much everything on that too so you can reach me by any of those platforms and and I'll reach back out and, the, uh -huh. and we'll make sure we have all the information in the video as well Mm -hmm. um, and then, as far as what you what you uh, if you want to just touch a little bit on, because I know you do a whole you know array of things, but just if you want to touch on some of the stuff. Yeah. You so basically, what happened was um, I started doing TikTok, made a TikTok video, went a, a lot of people watched it, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And, um, and so I started doing more things, and and so when people saw it, it was like, hey, man, it's like you know, can you deliver it to me and all that kind of stuff? Uh, but you know, TikTok is worldwide mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like, I need to find a way that I can get my cake and ship it out. So I'm just, so right now I'm in, I'm in the process of trying to figure out like what's going to work to where I can freeze it, uh, shrink wrap it and get it to somebody. So I froze this and then, you know, kind of threw it around a little bit because I know that's what's going to happen in shipping. Yeah. I see if I ship it, I know, it's, I know if I ship it, it's going to get tossed around a little bit. Uh -huh. So this is like first, first time trying this and see how it goes. Depending on how, how it goes, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I know I'm definitely going to be, you know, looking for other things. That's another thing, you know, YouTube University. I, I saw somebody say, you know, like, because the, um, when you're doing just a plastic wrap, it still gets air in it. Once you get air in the cake, you're going gonna, gonna, gonna to kill it. So yeah. this is the shrink wrap. This is, you know, so this ain't nothing getting into it. Okay. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it, how it cuts out and see if, 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 I, if I go with this, this version or, or try something else. Okay. And this is, this is vanilla? Yep, just vanilla, vanilla pound, pound cake. cake. Vanilla pound. So in your uh, in your cakes that you do, um, you have vanilla pound cake. Do you, now, do you do by order, or do you have specific flavors of, of cookies and cakes that you do that people can order? Or do you do by like uh, how do you do that? So right now I have my basics that I mean. So I do I do pound cakes, vanilla pound cake, red velvet, uh -huh. lemon. Lemon has been like everybody's favorite. Uh -huh. um, so I, I do those, and I'm always in the kitchen test, testing out different things. The cookies, uh, white chocolate, chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, uh, lemon, snickerdoodle, and so you know. And if you have a special order, I you know I'll definitely you know try to see what I can see if I can you know get it. You know, because sometimes you know people want want certain things like they want the oatmeal raisin, but they want you know 
nuts in it or they want this or whatever. So, you know, I, I can work with certain things. Yeah, I can work with certain certain things. Look at this, man. I'll tell you the truth, bro. I'm ready to go ahead and cut it slightly, even though I didn't know how most of this stuff tastes, which is something delicious. <laughs> but um, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it to it and um, we're going to go from there. All right. You guys uh, have all the Sproul's information so you can order some of this goodness that um, he has going on over here and um, make sure that you, you please reach out to him all social media platforms um, and, and go ahead and order your cookies on um, the last question I want to ask Sproul before we let him go is on um, Sproul where do you see your business uh, uh, going in the next you know three to five years what do you see at your cooks cookies what do you see it at three and five years storefront storefront Simple having, having, a brick, having a brick and mortar. Yeah, yeah, storefront. Yeah. I can't wait to go in there and see it, man. <laughs> Again, Sproul, thank you, man, for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Speaking to you today. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next segment.